started playing the French horn in fifth grade and I just sort of stuck with it all the way to college and I thought, oh, well, I'll just become a classical musician. And after a couple of years, I realized that while I loved playing the instrument, the kind of petty and competitive nature of the classical music world sort of took the fun out of it for me and so I wasn't really, it just sort of wasn't fun anymore. I thought, you know, I just, I'm not enjoying this. I don't know that I want to spend the rest of my life doing this. So I took this evening design class and I really liked it. And that's sort of the rest of it is history. I just kind of started from this one evening design class, you know, through the, through the program and ended up out, out the other end as a designer. So I graduated, I moved to New York. There was a designer who had a studio in the 80s named David Sterling. And there was a studio in the 80s called Double Space. They were very avant-garde. I knew David just through kind of the design community, but I didn't know him very well. And one day out of the blue, he called me up and he said, you know, I'm thinking of leaving Double Space. I'm thinking of starting a new company that um, has some kind of social component to it. I know I want a logo and I want you to design it. And we realized that we, you know, we really clicked immediately. That's when we really got to know each other. When we realized that we kind of viewed the world in the same way, we both had kind of a predilection to wanting to think about the world from a sort of pro-social standpoint. So David just said, well, you know, instead of designing my logo, you know, let's want to be my business partner. We sort of then, from then on, we kind of developed the concept of World Studio and what it would be from a social standpoint. We sort of developed that together. You know, you think like back in the radical 60s, but you think about that generation, you know, fighting against the Vietnam War and being very passionate about, about social issues. And so I think it's kind of just like the evolution of our culture, and now it's, people are starting to care more. I also think that with the internet and with the ability that you have to sort of social network, it kind of brings people together around causes in a much better way. It's kind of, it's, an e it's a much easier thing to do now than it was before. You know, we sort of filtered it through our design thinking process to create this foundation to do what we wanted to do, and it, it worked. We do a lot of work for Times Square Alliance. So they were interested in developing some kind of banner program that would go on the light pole banners within Times Square. So they asked me about, you know, did I have any ideas around it? So that's really where the Urban Forest Project came about. And what I thought would be really interesting is to engage the design community to develop banners and think of it like a public art project. I was also really interested in weaving in a notion about sustainability because I wanted the program to be just more than just like putting up pretty banners and that's it. So the program um, consisted of 185 artists and designers from all over the world, we had tw from 21 countries around the world. Um, they each designed a banner that used the metaphor of a tree to create some kind of powerful visual statement. We put the banners up. And then we took them down and gave them to the tote bag company, Jack Spade, and they cut them all apart and turned them into tote bags, which we then auctioned off to raise money for scholarship and mentoring programs for kids. So that's how it sort of started to turn into something much bigger. So they did it in Baltimore, they did it in, or in Portland and Denver, and then this summer they're going to do it in San Francisco, and in the fall the city of Albuquerque is interested in doing it. You know, as designers, we really do have the ability to, to, to really be entrepreneurial and do right. a lot of things on our own. We don't just have to sit around and wait for our clients to give us an assignment. Mm -hmm.